Hey guys, we're back in the kitchen and today I'm going to be showing you how to make minestrone soup. This soup is so easy to make and it's so versatile. I'm going to get straight to it and I've only got one simple rule with minestrone. It always has to start with a base of onion, garlic and celery. So that's going to go straight into the pan now with some olive oil. So while that onion, garlic and celery is frying, you can start to talk a little bit about the veg we're using. You can use whatever you've got in the fridge or the cupboards will work perfectly. So I'm going to use some cavalanero, I've got some courgette, some red pepper for a little bit of sweetness. But this part is where you can really just use your imagination for whatever you've got. Onion and garlic and celery have been frying for about seven minutes now. It smells amazing, it's really soft and it's got really sweet. So now I'm going to go in with the rest of the veggies. So here you want to make sure that your veggies are all sort of chopped to the same size. And the rule of thumb is just keep it small enough that it can fit onto your spoon when you're eating it. So this way, by chopping everything the same size, it's all going to cook at the same time. So you're not going to end up with, you know, chunks of raw vegetable or some really overcooked vegetables. So I'm going straight in with all my different mix of veg. I'm going to throw in a couple of bay leaves as well. Bay leaves work so well with soups and stews just to help bring the flavour out. now I'm just going to cover it with some stock. I'm using chicken stock because I love the flavour but if you want to keep it vegetarian, veg will work fine. Now minestrone varies from all different regions all over Italy. Some will just leave it plain like this and some may add tomato. So in our family always a bit of tomato goes in. So you can use some chopped tomatoes, plum tomatoes or I'm going to use a little bit of passata. So that's going to go straight in. And of course, we never want to waste any of that goodness. So I'm going to run that under the tap and give it a shake so I don't lose any of that flavour. Give that a quick shake. And that's going to go in. I'm going to give it a quick little season with some fresh black pepper and a little bit of salt. I'm going to leave that on a nice low heat just to cook away for about 45 minutes to one hour. And before we leave this for an hour, I'm going in with my final secret ingredient, the Parmesan rind. Just plop that in and leave it, and it's gonna add the most amazing, salty, creamy flavor. And before we leave this for an hour, I'm going in with my final secret ingredient, the Parmesan rind. Just plop that in and leave it, and it's gonna add the most amazing, salty, creamy flavor. So the soup's been on for about an hour. All the vegetables are nice and tender, and it smells fantastic. We're ready to serve. To finish it off, I'm going to add some fresh torn basil for a lovely fresh flavour. Some parmesan just all over the top. And a drizzle of some really good quality extra virgin olive oil. So there you have it guys, homemade minestrone soup. Thanks for watching.